So are you hearing about uh, Sebastian Maniscalco? No. Oh, you're not hearing what's going on with Sebastian? No. Oh, this is funny. That's your comedian friend, right? Yeah. So Sebastian uh, opened up the uh, VMAs. He did the VMAs, right, in front okay. of, I don't know, was it 20,000 people? How many people? Were... I didn't even know those were on last night until people kept... I didn't either. People in my live stream were like, are you not watching the VMAs? Do you guys uh, no. in the booth have any idea what was going on? No. Okay. All right. So so Sebastian, just type in Sebastian uh, Does that mean he Maniscalco. Was it? He was hosting it. Sebastian Maniscalco VMAs, right? I'm shocked that you don't know about this, Roxy, because you're always on, on uh, social media. Yeah. So Sebastian Maniscalco is, I don't know, he's 46, right? And he opens up this show, the VMAs, and he starts cracking on millennials. And no, this, I heard the millennial thing last <laughs> night with uh, Pete, um, what, what does Pete, Ariana Grande's Pete? Oh, uh, Pete Davidson. Pete Davidson. Davidson. Yeah. That's yeah, who I heard with the millennials he last night. And he called them like, uh, the R word. Privileged little assholes or something. Oh, okay. No. Well, does this is different? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. So, so Sebastian does. It's Sebastian. Just some fire headlines oh, here that this, I'm looking at. The, social media is destroying him, right? Yeah. Uh, because they're saying he was out of touch. He was up there and people didn't know who he was in the first place. And he's up there at a millennial show cracking on millennials. And I'm going, yeah. Yeah, because he didn't. What he that's what he does. Was it funny? I thought so, but it's not. But this is the thing: he shouldn't have been hired for this job. <laughs> I'm glad that he was because he's my. He's, I'm friends with him, and he probably got a good, good money off it. But the thing was, like, oh man, he's crushed now. This is gonna hurt him. No, it's not. Every single person, like myself and my wife, who heard these jokes, they're gonna go buy his tickets in Vegas. He's. They were trying to reach out to the 20, 25 year olds. They're not. They're not gonna. They're not gonna gravitate towards him. He said. He goes. Just in case I say anything up here that triggers you, MTV set up a safe space in the back. <laughs> he's like, yeah. And then he goes, he's like, so if you get offended and you need something and maybe a blankie. <laughs> and people got mad about it. Exactly what we thought. This article transcribed his entire act. I know. I have it right. Here. This, is, this is what I'm saying. This is the problem with he, he went what after the, the people that are going to go after him. That's, you so, know? that's funny. That happened the same night that Pete yeah. Davidson. Pete Davidson was getting roasted Oh, he's getting, last Sebastian's night. getting destroyed. But I'm like, but and Ellis and I were talking about it. And he's like, uh, we can, he can use this in his act. And he's like, you know who tweeted at me? Pamela Anderson. I thought she was dead. <laughs> right? Like, you can see him talking about, like, all this stuff. And he's just, you read it. You read all these articles. They're just they're just crushing him for it. And I think it's, I, I don't know. I, I Because people so didn't you, know who he was. You were with him at the store? Like, you guys came up together? He, yeah. So he was a door, he was a doorman first, right? And then when I was, when I got passed as a regular there, uh, he had already become a start getting more and more established. But. I had given him, you know, when I was doing this show at uh, Cafe Luna, he used to come up and headline for me all the time. And Just because I'm out of touch with this world, is he relatively big? Oh, he's huge. Oh, he's I mean, huge. He's, as far as co I, stand up I, comedians go, yeah. as far as stand up comedians go, we were talking about it last night. It's probably like Bill Burr is number one, yeah. and Sebastian's probably number two right so now. Crazy. Not including Stein, Stein, obviously, yeah, Seinfeld, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, those guys. Because I've, I've been seeing his face, Super Sebastian's Pal. face, all over LA, but I don't yeah. know whether that means globally or. Yeah, he's, he's, he's big, and he's, you know, he's all over the comedians with cars. And again, I'm not talking about Chris Rock and Dave Chappelle, the guys who are. I'm talking about the, new, the newer guys, the Bill Burr is the, probably the, the champ right now of stand up comedians. And then you got. Sebastian in there, but this was to get people who didn't know younger people who didn't know him. I get why they took the bid. Like, he's talking about his, his uncle Louie's wedding, right? It's like the people, the, the twenty-two year olds. Who the fuck is Uncle Louie? And he goes back to texting. Yeah. It's like, but it, it, it's that's not on him. That's for the people who hired him. And I, I, I watched the act, and I said, "Yeah, I'm feeling you." But I'm, TV is like, you know who we should get? Yeah, <laughs> right. Like, well, they're what? trying, they're trying to get him to the next, to to the next level. But have you ever seen his act? <laughs> his, his my favorite joke that he does is talking about like just in frappuccinos. He's just like, you ever see? I was at Starbucks. <laughs> this guy walks in and says, "I want a frappuccino, <laughs> cream on top." <laughs> I said, you get a black coffee and go to work. <laughs> it's like, it's like, he's he's a grouchy old fucker, yeah. you know, and that's what it's I love Chipotle about that. The, it, a Chipotle bit is, is, is the best. The absolute best. It's the best. The other bit I saw from the VMAs was the Travolta bit. Did you guys see John Travolta who did a... Do another Dina Menzel. I guess he thought somebody was Taylor did Swift. Did it again? Did, no, yes. no. I don't what think he called say? their name, but I think I think I read this this morning. He went to hand somebody. Hey, there he is. Yeah. Hey. See? Did you hear about the Sebastian stuff on the VMAs? 
I watched like 10 seconds of the VMAs. I realized I know no musicians. Christian, and I will you pull up the Taylor Swift thing? So and I, I noticed that Sebastian Maniscalco looked like the most uncomfortable human being alive. But Alex he's getting. He, but, well, the thing is, I I thought his stuff was was really funny. I didn't see what, any what, of it. What he said, what the 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 one line. See if you can play a little bit of the uh, of, just of the audio. Monologue? Yeah, see if okay. you can just play just the audio. I wonder if you can play a little of the audio. Oh, millennials don't like humor. We yeah. know just, this. Just go. Related to that. Oh, no. Just go. It's it's like right in the middle is where is where he starts talking about the millennials. Turn it up a little bit. And let the professionals record no, the no, no, a little bit more. I am so right there. Yeah, it's like oh. really towards the no, end, actually. You're right there. Try there. No, 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 no. Where you were. Sorry. Right. Sorry, guys. Go to like the four, the four minute mark. Yeah. Here, try that. Yeah, a little bit back, and that's it. That's it. That's it. By anything I'm saying up here, if you're offended. Anything the musical artists are doing, they're providing a safe space backstage. <laughs> Will you get some stress balls and a blankie? <laughs> and also, little Nas X brought his face. horse, which will, yeah, horses backstage. Which will People didn't like this? as an emotional support animal. <laughs> <laughs> so if you'd like to talk to your ushers, they will send you back to, uh, to where that's happening. Personally, uh, I would remove you from the arena, put you in your car, and send you home. <laughs> Pause it. That's what I'm saying. So <laughs> it's, it's for us. You know what I mean? Like that's, it, it was very funny. And people like, the, the, the culture that is social media right now uh, is roasting him because yeah. they're like, Oh, uh, if he said that we're triggered, it's like he's going after the millennials, which is the audience he's going after. And like, I'm so on his side. And you know his Vegas, his <laughs> Vegas proof ticket. It. Oh, his Vegas ticket sales are going to be going yes. up because it's going to be people like us, dude. He. You reading a lot of the comments? No, I'm looking at the freaking. I'm telling you about the John Travolta thing. Oh yeah, I'm we got go. to the next do VMAs. The, do the Travolta actors. I want you part of this okay, conversation. Okay. Um, the uh, so we were watching it, and I love like his whole thing of like, why am I hosting? this when he first got the job yeah. was amazing, amazing because it legitimately makes no sense he do you remember so the wild west comedy show do you remember yeah, of course Caparulo, the, yeah, yeah him yeah. cap and uh i'm at a mud right so when he does that and joke Ernst. and Ernst. Ernst, yes when he does that joke about flip-flops i am dying oh, yeah, and yeah, that yeah. arizona crowd booed him oh, yeah, 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 yeah. he loves poking fun at the bear totally right and he loves poking fun at millennials like that's his whole thing this is genius